Hello everyone! So in the last episode we had kinda disastrous ending because you know we just have to rebuild the station so uh, we don't have to deal with that later and in fact we are gonna do this right now so uh, le I destroyed one piece of rail here so right now all of the trains we have are waiting it's kinda long queue but hey doesn't matter for now and what we are going to do is uh, I think I really want to connect it here no I don't uh, what I'm gonna do is connect all of these platforms I usually just prefer to do it like so uh, it will be a problem to connect these but yeah, it's precisely precisely with one dial precision uh, how, mu how many platform that is? four, six hmm. I guess we can connect these four separate platforms on other rail because we are gonna be expanding our uh, our ra rail network I mean this is kinda wacky <laughs> I usually just make like even number of stations, uh, even number of platforms and then connect uh, each to... I don't like it here. So let's build at the local authority always. I'm gonna move the lorry station one... I'm not. Well... Oh well, let's do it like so. I just hate cities. Uh, right. Oh, this is wrong. What we're gonna do here is put a buff signal here, right in front of all the split. Oh yeah, it's possible. I never, I never saw this like white line there. Uh, and we're gonna put a buff signal here as well. Right, the train should be able to go to the central station now. However, we still need to connect the other rail. I think we are going to do that around the, around the town. Yeah. So, uh, I just hope that the trains won't all crash into each other. Oh good, they are not. Uh, so now I mustn't accidentally connect this piece of rail. <coughs> because that would end up in disaster. And... I... I will just connect them like so. Usually I prefer to have like 10 tiles of straight rail just behind my station so the trains can get to full speed. But we don't have the luxury of doing that here. In fact, I'm gonna show you some awesome uh, like station design I saw somewhere. Multiplayer, but I'm not sure if it will be feasible because of this iron mill, but let's see. So what we're gonna do is create a small hill uh, and make uh, like level the terrain here. Yeah, unfortunately the steel mill is just in the way. This should deal with that. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> so, uh, what we're gonna do is. Whoa, I messed up here. I want it like so. No, I don't. So, what we're gonna do is uh, leave one space behind the behind the rail uh, behind the station so we can put a signal here and then every other rail is gonna go up the hill and then the st platforms that are not connected yet are gonna be gonna go through the hill so it looks like this uh, 
then we want to build a rail. Unfortunately, we can't do it anyhow. Well, I guess we could make this longer. So let's do that. Yeah, this will be better. So what we're gonna do now is make a curve here like so. Oh. Stop. We're gonna also level to the river here. So we don't have to deal with that. And just connect it to everything. Right, and let's connect this to the uh, Let's connect this to our main line. Mm, this sucks. How long is this? Three tiles. Uh, should be okay. Hopefully the train the train's leaving from this. Oh well let's Let's fix that. I don't really want uh, to you know to have like giant gem there later just because there was one piece of rail wrong. Uh, let's level the drain here as well. And we are gonna connect it uh, to our main line. So we can get our trains going finally again. Right, uh, here we're gonna put a signal. everywhere here which means control drag control click drag as always and what we have to do now however is connect all of these tunnels so let's do that I usually just start from the like the most outside one uh, oh let's level the terrain here so uh, the trains don't have to go up and down all the time and let's just connect every tunnel exit to this rail uh, this is bad because again we don't really want our like two tile curve here that would be really bad so instead what I'm gonna do is connect it here and connect it like so should be fine Right, I'm gonna connect all of the all of the tunnels because they are now connected to the line and put signals everywhere. Again, signal and just control click. Here I'm gonna put the signals manually because as I said earlier on diagonal tracks you well certainly on tracks like these, which are gonna be highly populated with trains, you wanna build the uh, signals as close to each other as possible. And for now we can, I think we can just connect it uh, to this rail, right? So let's do that. And uh, just uh, put signals everywhere. So uh, that means putting, he putting it here in between the spaces. You can also just use path signals here, but I prefer this more. Right, uh, this is like a, I'd say, placeholder. We are gonna... We are gonna change that later. Now we have to manually send all of these trains on their way. And as you can see, it works pretty awesome. I mean, there's gonna be a gem here, but that's that's expected. And I think we can start building our uh, our main line. Like this is the main line, but it will be much bigger because we are gonna add one rail in each direction. So let's start here. I usually make the rail one tile apart because 
you will s because of like a splitter, I'd say, or merger. Don't really know what that's called. Uh, but you will see in later videos that it will be m it will be very useful. Right, as we are building this, we as we have the money now, we really want to get rid uh, of all of these rivers in the way because they will just make things bad for us. Let's do that. Uh, unfortunately, there is a farm in the way, but we can just make it go around here. And we don't really want to build bridge anywhere on the main line, so let's make like a land bridge. And here comes the tricky part. Uh, if you have a station connected directly into the main line, you will unfortunately have to somehow deal with that. Uh, so let's do that. I just hope that there are no trains right now, but for now... For now, let's just connect it like so, but we are going to do this thing anyway with the bridge. So, the main idea behind building another uh, rail in each direction is to help the traffic. And uh, also, also to make it like so that uh, all the trains will get on the sideline and then later they will somehow get to the main line and they will travel on... Imagine this is a highway, the, the middle rail. Uh, so then the trains will go like on a highway straight to the central station at full speed and then they will go back as close to their station as possible. Then they will switch the lane to the sideline or well right now it's just if the sideline is this second rail and from this second rail they will get to go to the station. So that's the main idea behind it. Sounds complicated. Uh, the main problem with this is connecting like this type of junction. <laughs> that's gonna be it's gonna be uh, pretty awful. <laughs> but hey, let's see if we can deal with that. It's been a long time since I've built a station like uh, or a junction like this, so uh, not not sure if I will be able to do that. Right, we're gonna connect. Yeah, we're gonna build a sideline here, so... Uh, let's see, if we build a rail here, it will connect like so, I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Right, uh, here, we, here we are going to connect it just like so, uh, doesn't really matter. I mean, we are gonna be rebuilding everything here. I just want the trains to function right now. Right, four got the bridge here, so... The, yeah, the forest is in the way. A uh, good thing if you build a like S band as as here, as I bu just built here, uh, the trains won't lose speed when they go through that. So feel free to just dodge any farms or any like oil wells. Destroy the river again. And we are... I mean, we will have to move this uh, one tile to the left, the lorry station. Unfortunately, we can't do that yet, so... Uh, I really don't want it like this, but I guess it works. I'm just gonna build it uh, like so, but we will change that later, like when it's completed. Alright, uh, 
or got to build signals here on the diagonal tracks. It always happens to me. <laughs> so let's do that now. I'm gonna do the same thing here because we don't really want train stopping on this, uh, these two rails we just built. And da -da -da, this looks fine. I guess what we could do is just connect it here. We don't really need to do some fancy stuff, right? <coughs> we also... So right now, because we connected these rails to our new main line, we just connect it like from... If the trains are going from this direction to central station, and then from this direction to, to the right. But what we want to do is... Uh, what we want to do is also connect this rail to this one. So let's do that. I mean, it's not optimal, but it should work. Uh, we are gonna do the pre-signal thing again here, so that means clicking once on this signal, then make two uh, two-way signals here, and control click twice on this one, and control click three times on that one, and just build normal signals everywhere. So right now that's two directions connected. Uh, the trains from the central station coming back can go that way or that way, and uh, right now. We need to connect this rail to uh, to this one. Oh wait, we don't because uh, you know if the train is going here, it will turn to the bridge to go over the bridge. Uh, then it will go to another bridge, and here is here is the split into two rails. So that's awesome. <coughs> In fact, I think we are good to go here. I really wanna like rebuild this whole thing. I've done it just so the trains can uh, can start going on each rail, but I don't know. All right. Uh, let's see if we we got the authority appalling. So let's try to bribe the authority. See if we can build. Fortunately, we really need to build the. Well, let's see. Uh, we could destroy this part of the forest and then just make new trees here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Right? Crap. Screw this city, man. Right. Uh, I mean, let's first build a splitter here, or that's what I call it, and uh, I think we will rebuild this in the next episode. So, for the splitter, uh, what we want to do is give a train a chance to go from the inner, inner track to the outside one, and vice versa, from the outside one to the inner one. So, let's do the first thing. Uh, first, let's just create a like, normal track here. We're gonna put signals everywhere there. And we are gonna do it like... Uh, uh, yeah, let's put a signal here as well. And what we're gonna do is... Uh, in fact, I think we can put a path signal here and it should be okay. Yeah. Let's put a path signal here. <coughs> And that what uh, what we want to do is uh, connect the outer track to the inner one. As you can see, the train already used uh, this track. Uh, let's do the same thing here, so the trains going on the rails don't get stuck. All right, and put the path signal here. And what we want to do now is. Uh, connect the outer track to the inner one. So we can do that by making a split here, building a bridge over the rail we've just built, 
and then connect it somewhere like here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we are gonna do the free signal thing here as well. So that means setting this two way, clicking this twice with control pressed, clicking this three times and clicking this just once. Always click the connecting rail just once, the one that has slower priority and then two and three times the main, main rail. And this is done. So what this does is the train goes here, uh, if there's any train in front of it, it will change to other track where there's less trains and it will do the same thing on this track or if it somehow needs to get to the station which is connected usually just to the outside track and uh, it will do the same thing from the outside track to the inner one however here because we've built the pre-signals it will stop this signal there is a train going here and we're gonna build the same thing here so we just connected the inner one to the outer track and we're gonna build a bridge and connect it like so like it's kinda like S-band uh, put signals everywhere as close to the junctions as possible and we're gonna make this two way again click two times, click three times and because we want the trains to wait at this track with the bridge we're gonna click that just once with the control pressed alright uh, ideally what we want to do now is uh, what we want to do now is connect uh, each of the platform uh, station exits to a different track so let's do that right now right uh, I forgot to get rid of the river here uh, unfortunately there's a sawmill in the way so we can just go around it it's not a problem I mean this is good as well and what we're gonna do is uh, I, we are destroying this track for obvious reasons, because this way, uh, this might have seemed like unreasonable at first, but what this does, it connects six, six platforms to the inner track and then six platforms to the other one. <coughs> so that way the trains get uh, evenly split. We're gonna make like hills there and connect it like so put signals on that, I'm gonna put signals on the diagonal here as well because we don't want our trains to get stuck I'm uh, gonna put the uh, signals here as well on diagonals and we're gonna dis uh, delete this piece of rail so right now the train should change the, uh, the track if it needs to uh, seems like it doesn't let's see where it goes I mean, because we've connected this junction, it should be fine. So, that's like one direction setup. Uh, we're gonna do the other. Uh, I don't like this mess, but... Well, let's change that in the next episode, uh, because I'm running out of time here. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope I made everything clear. Uh, I'm kinda used to building fast, so uh, feel free to pause as you go along. Hopefully I explained everything well, so you understand that. Uh, I mean, this thing might seem complicated, but uh, it isn't. I will build more of these on the track, there will be like four at least, so don't worry if you don't get this yet. And uh, I think that's all, so have a nice rest of the day. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did please hit the subscribe button so you will get a notification every time I upload a new video and have a good time playing OpenTTD.